welcome to the vlog. It's actually, it's very much not morning. By definition, we are in the afternoon. Should we have a chat? Let's have a brief chat. Also, before I start, do we all like the new wall decor that I've got going on here? Really excelled on that interior design, can't lie to you. So, life update. If you have watched any of my previous vlogs, you will have gathered the theme, I'm very bored, I'm on furlough, life was not thriving. But the other week, I decided to start selling my cakes and cupcakes because I really just needed something to do. So yeah, starting up a little cake business, little cake biz. She's an entrepreneur. It does feel incorrect to call it a business, like it ain't no gym shark over here. But anyway, by definition, it's a business. I thought I'd bring you along on a day in life. It's a busy weekend, it's Mother's Day on Sunday. So I've got a lot of cupcake boxes to make up tomorrow and deliver for Mother's Day. So I thought I'd bring you along, got to prepare for that because it does require a little bit of preparation. Anything else to say? Oh yeah, to provide some context, I thought I'd share with you some brief clippets of cakes I've made so far this week. Here we go. This is a click of the cakes I've made this week. Cool. Now we've got that out of the way. Right, let's go. Let's go do some work because things to do, they're not gonna, not gonna do themselves. I have actually already made up all the boxes I need, I think. And I've just printed out all the labels to put on the boxes because you know, food requires labeling. Did you know that? You probably did know that, but you don't actually think about like what goes into a food label. It turns out quite a lot. So, I can't find my scissors. Found them, okay. I've printed out all my labels I'm gonna need and I'm gonna put them on the boxes today so that tomorrow can just be a cooking the cupcakes, putting them in the boxes, decorating them job and I'm not faffing around with all of this. I mean, it's nothing exciting. Look at that fat ingredient list as well. Like, it always really amazes me like how much random stuff is in food. Like, chocolate is sugar, cocoa, 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 vegetable fats, palm sugar, multiplies, oil, lactose, cocoa, solids, oil, cocoa, cocoa, Christ, I didn't know that. Anyway, so I'm just, that is currently what I'm doing. Um, and now I'm literally just gonna stick the the label onto the boxes. Not rocket science, really. So yeah, that's what they look like with the labels on. Box tour. And then one last thing I want to do with all the boxes and then they are all ready. So basically I've got my like little spreadsheet with everyone's orders on and on each of the boxes corresponding to the correct label because everyone's ordered different cupcakes. And I just want to put order number, the name and the address it's going to just for me to know. I'm going to write all them out and then the boxes are done. This post now I'm going to show you is actually just an example one. It's not actually a real one, hence why. Hence why I'm writing my own name on it. Okay, basically, guys, okay. Okay, so boxes are all done. I've got these little um, thank you cards that go with every order. So I'm going to write all of them now. So yet again, they're all ready to tie to the box tomorrow. I designed these myself. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but graphic design extraordinaire here. Um, it just says thank you for your custom and then on the back I am covering my phone number. For privacy reasons. <laughs> if you're wondering. Um, it says just a note to say and that's where I write my, my little note to say whatever I fancy saying. Thanks for the order. Jane, enjoy the cakes. It's normally the vibe I go for. So thoughtful. Um, Nicole, if you're watching, I hope you buzz in that I chose your car to film. Oh, it's looking very white behind me. So I've just finished the little Happy Mother's Day little circle, fondant circles. So that's all done. So that's all the food prep I can do today. Because then cupcakes, butter cream tomorrow, that's that. One last thing I need to do today is I need to go to Sainsbury's. I've got four blocks of butter, so I think I need another five. I might buy 18 eggs. So I'm going to go to Saints for buy 18 eggs and five blocks of butter and everyone's going to be like, question marks. Also, do you want to know a sad fact? So do you want to know the issue? I'm about to go to Sainsbury's now. And if you didn't know, I worked at my local Sainsbury's last Christmas, this Christmas, whatever you want to call it, as like a Christmas temp job. Since I've worked at Sainsbury's, going to Sainsbury's, it's just not a fun experience because I only worked there a month because it was just a Christmas job. So there's all these people, it's that awkward like I semi know them. And it's like the worst kind of people are the people you semi know 
because if I know you and we're friends, I'm just gonna say hi, we're gonna chat. If I don't know you, then we're not gonna speak, are we? But if I semi know you, like, is it acceptable to not say anything? Should I say something? But like, I don't want to say something because like, I don't know you and like, maybe it's just me, but like, that just makes me anxious. So now going to Sainsbury's is just a low key stressful experience, which is very highly unenjoyable. That's the story in Balamore. Good morning everybody. It's currently 7am, which is to be honest, a little bit too early for a Saturday morning. And if you can hear the kitchen sink, that might be annoying for you. Another thing I do before I actually get started is just double check the best before dates on all the products I'm gonna use, which like, I mean, I've just bought them. So obviously you would expect them to be in date, but you can never be sure. And then also write down the batch code and the best before dates for all of all of the ingredients I'm using just for traceability. So I do that real quick and then I can actually get to the baking part of it. <laughs> quarter past nine. I've just put the chocolate cupcakes in the oven, all the vanilla cupcakes are done. Loving life. I've now got to fill all the vanilla cupcakes with raspberry jam which is just quite a time consuming process and there's quite a few I've got to do and there's not really a fast way to do this. So that's oh, gonna take a while. 20 minutes late. So my mum just went to Sainsbury's she was like do you want anything and I was like if there's any apple corers I'd love an apple corer and she was like um, okay and this has changed my life normally I just use a knife and cut a little circle out in the middle of this cupcake and then fill it with jam it takes so long but it's not too bad if I'm just doing 12 cupcakes it would have taken me ages this is literally life-changing so great Also, I don't know if this is something people might want to know or be interested in, but how I got most of my orders for today is I created a Facebook page for me, for the business. And then I just shared it on like my local Facebook page. So if it's something you fancy doing, that's a good way to kind of get the word around. Obviously there's other things you have to do before you can start. You've got to register as a small business. It's recommended you do your level two food hygiene and safety course, all these things, but there's lots of information about um, starting it online, but it's, they're not difficult or complicated really at all. So yes, um, anyway, but yeah, filled the cupcakes, and now we're gonna get onto decorating. What time is it? 10 o'clock, that's not too bad actually. It's currently quarter to one and I've just finished them all and tidied up and everything. That took so long. I'm actually quite tired now. But I've just got to tie the boxes with the ribbon and deliver them and then we're done for the day. So very exciting but I don't want to toot my own horn but I think they look nice so I hope people like them. But I'll give you a little sneak peek. Done. 
so excited. That was quite a mission. This is an interesting angle, isn't it? Um, but yeah, they're all done. I need to sit down, but first I need to deliver them and then I can have a sit down. <laughs> I've now made all the cakes. They've been delivered slash collected, all but two boxes for the collection. So I was gonna say not my problem, but <laughs> it is in fact my problem, so. <laughs> but yeah, I'm now exhausted, but also thrilled to bits. Um, what a day. And now I'm gonna chillax. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more quality content, and I'll see you when I next see you. <laughs> it's me again. You thought you got rid of me, but you didn't. Just wanted to come on here and say really quickly because I literally was just out on a walk with my family and a little bit exciting. I just hit a thousand subscribers, which is just kind of a little bit crazy. I mean, I know in the grand scheme of things, a thousand people isn't like loads of subscribers, but a thousand people is a hell of a lot of people. Like, that's more people than I am comfortable standing in front of and speaking to in real life. So, wow, that's four digits, that's, that is nuts. So thank you so much to everyone who subscribed, liked, watched the video, I don't care, just thank you. Stay tuned for more quality content in the future. See you later, guys!